like a teenage mutant ninja turtle. Well, come on in. Sheldon, come in the kitchen for dinner. Can I eat out here? Why? Dr. Sturgis is having a dinner date with Mima. I don't want to miss it. <sighs> Fine. During that time, I saw three cars drive by and a raccoon dragging a slice of pizza. The trick to a successful Sichuan dinner is the Sichuan pepper. Okay. Now, you may notice your lips and tongue getting numb. Then why are we eating it? Because it's yummy. <laughs> sure. So what were you doing wandering around China? Well, when I'm not doing research or teaching, I enjoy taking the path less traveled. I'm guessing it's a bike path. As a matter of fact, it was. <laughs> Everybody in China rides bicycles. It's fantastic. Did you see the Great Wall? I did. Interesting fact, it's filled with the dead bodies of the people who built it. You don't say. Hundreds of thousands of them. Here, taste. You seem quiet. Is everything OK? Are you not interested in me? Of course I am. I'm very interested. Then how come when I, I invited you to spend the night, I got rejected? I did do that, didn't I? Good Lord, yes. I can explain. Please do. I didn't want you to think that I would think that you were the sort of woman who would engage in coitus simply because I cooked you a Sichuan dinner. It was better before you explained. All right. Let me try a different tack. Oh. Connie? Oh, boy. Would you honor me with an evening of intimate relations? Well, that is a different tack. This is very promising. What's happening? Dr. Sturgis's bike is still at Mimo's. So? That means he probably is too. You need to get a life. <gasps> there he is. Mom, mom, mom. What's wrong? What's going on? Dr. Sturgis and Mimo had their first sleepover. It's a big step in their relationship. I'm going to go congratulate them. Jake, put on a jacket. It's chilly out. Will do. Or try saying he can't go. Oh, never mind. He can't go. The last thing I heard was jacket. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 